hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are working to move and introduce our spring chicks into our existing flock of hens. We've got 12 existing hens and about 15, I believe 15 chicks that we got back in the spring. They're a few months old now. Uh, they're fully feathered. They're plenty big enough to then get introduced with our existing flock of hens. So we're gonna be doing that today. First, I'm gonna go and let them out of their different coops. So let's do that. Good morning. Good morning, Monty. Hey, hey. Oh, man, you're getting so big. You're getting so big. Good morning. This is our smaller coop that we use for our chicks when we're brooding them, when we're raising them. Uh, we got 15 of them from the feed store just a few months ago. Let's go ahead and let them out of here for the day. Good morning, chicks. Good morning. Go let out the big hens out of the big coop. Good morning. Good morning. This one's our bigger chicken coop. This is where the chicks will be moved to later today. And they've got this run. Uh, and it's gonna be a little crowded in here once we get them all together, but honestly, they'll only be closed into the run and the coop for um, just about a week to get them retrained on how to stay and come back into this at night. And then we let them free range by opening the little, the little door here they get to free range on this whole side of the property. So let them out, oh, watch out. Back up, back up. Nope, Mabel, back up, back up, back up. There you go. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. All right, it's a little bit later in the day. We're getting ready to go and move the chicks over into the big coop with the established older hen flock. I'm gonna bring a few of them over at a time and make sure that they do well. I think we got a nice uh, watermelon treat for them as well once we get them moved over there. Yep.
All right, so the idea here is since we did just move the coop and we've got our existing flock in there, we normally would let the, the existing hens out to free range on the entire property. And we do that by opening up the, uh, the one little ramp door I'll show you right here. We do that by opening up this door right here. And the way I have it built, I built it with this ramp that comes up and down to come in and out of the run. That way our dogs don't go into the run to get into the chicken feed or into the coop to try to eat the eggs. The dogs aren't concerned about trying to get to the chicken so much as they're in there trying to eat the eggs or the chicken feed. But right now the idea is we just moved the coop and chickens need to be trained to come back to the coop at night. And the way you do that is you kind of have to leave them locked into the coop and run during all, all day long, 24 hours a day for about a week. And then after doing that, chickens are such creatures of habit that after about a week of doing that, when we open up the, uh, that run door to let them out to free range on the entire property here, even at night, as soon as the sun starts going down, they'll know to return to the coop. And they'll also know to go to those nesting boxes in the coop to lay their eggs there. So that's the goal. So now we're retraining our existing hens to do that. And we're gonna do that right now as well with the new chicks. So the new chicks and the existing hens will be locked into the coop and the run for about seven days. And then we'll open up that door and let them free range out here with the rest of the animals on this part of our property. Now you'll see that some of the older hens are pecking at some of the newer chicks that we put in there. That's actually very normal, that's to be expected. And that's why we would never introduce just one or even two uh, new chicks to an existing flock because they'll actually probably get pecked to death. That's where that term pecking order comes from. So that's why we've waited until our existing, our, our new chicks are just a little bit smaller than the existing hens. So they're big enough to fend for themselves and we're also introducing 15 new ones in there. So there's some strength in numbers and the, our new chicks are not outnumbered. In fact, our new chick flock outnumbers our existing hen flock. So we've got 15 new chicks and 12 existing hens that we're introducing together. And uh, after they uh, you know, pack at each other just a little bit uh, for the first few minutes, they'll get over it and they'll all join together as one flock. All right, it is actually the next day out here on the farm. I'm out here feeding the dogs their morning meal. Out here eating. We're gonna go into the coop and let out the hens and the chicks and see how they did for the night. Let's do it. Chicks and the hens seem to be getting along just fine.
All right, last night when we were moving the chicks, we promised them that we would give them some watermelon as a treat. We forgot to do it last night, so I wanna make good on my promise and bring this watermelon out to them, smash it on the ground, and let them just go at it, picking at it, and they love some watermelon. Well, that's it for today's video. We sure hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next time we drop a new video. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.